Marshall, Texas. Cattle country. Population 23,933. Plus one mayor and his wife, who decided to tackle the greatest threat to life its residents had ever faced, their diet. In 2008, we got married. Uh, that was also the year that his um, prostate cancer was diagnosed. Well, from around here, basically, you're told that as, as you get older, you're just going to gain a little weight. I had never eaten an orange. I was 28 years old, had never eaten an orange. My wife said, honey, we need to go to the hospital. We need to go to the emergency room. I said, let me go to the restroom. I was trying to come out of the restroom when I hit the floor. And the last thing I know is, is I called out her name. Well, uh, at that time, of course, she called 911. Uh, they responded within six minutes, thank goodness, because I was literally dead for six minutes. There was this health event in Marshall called Get Healthy Marshall. And having the background that I had, I didn't feel like I needed to go. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of resistance, a lot of skepticism, a lot of raised eyebrows. Uh, a lot of people thought we were crazy. And I remember the first potluck, there was, you know, a few people. Every year it gets bigger and people came in last night for the potluck, for a potluck. They drove from Oklahoma. They drove from Louisiana. So the message is getting out there and, and people seem to really be hungry, no pun intended, for this knowledge. The number one killer heart disease is something that I am convinced we could almost completely obliterate if people would get the animal products off of their plate. Because what happens is your cholesterol falls dramatically when you do that. And researchers have found that if you get your cholesterol below about 150, diet is the beginning of that. For some people, maybe one in 10, they may need medication to help them over that last little bit. But the heart disease is just gone. I've been in the financial industry for years and I learned you cannot argue with numbers. It's in your mind. You know, the battle is in your mind that it is, we used to say to ourselves, oh, we can't eat meat. Oh, oh, mine was cheese. Oh, I cannot live without cheese. And it was so amazing to realize, oh yeah, you can. Hopefully in 10 years, people will look at the meat and dairy industry as the in the same way that they look at the tobacco industry today. And they'll be able to make that recognition that this is not a healthy way to go.